Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a tech tutorial. This is going to be a lesson about how to create digital tabs for some type of digital planner. I had a few of you reach out asking how to do this and the good news is it's actually really easy to do. So let's jump into it. Right here, I have been making a little bit of a unit planner throughout the year so far, throughout the school year, and I want to add some digital tabs to it. So I have, you know, a little cover here for August August and kind of what I planned out for the month with them. This is what I really like to start with at the beginning of each month, you know, kind of picking a new uh, learning goal or standard and kind of mapping out what my month is going to look like, whether, you know, what we are going to sing, how are we going to move, what core concept ideas do I have? So it just really helps me kind of start to build a vision for what the month will look like and, you know, kind of a starting point. So let's get in how to make different tabs. So what we're going to do first is I am going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to actually going to go to 50%. Now we're going to add our digital tabs to the top and to the side here, or you could just do one side or one top, wherever you would like it to be. And what I'm going to do is use the shape insert and I am going to use this rounded edge one right here and it really it looks like a tab so let's see I'm gonna make them kind of big because I don't need for the ones on the side I'm not gonna need very many because I'm just gonna make it grade levels so I'm kind of organizing this unit planner by grade level and by uh, month so the ones on the sides are gonna be at the different grade levels so I just have K one, two, three. I don't teach fourth grade. My other, my co-teacher does. And then I have block, which I'm right now combining as fifth and sixth grade. So I only need one, two, three, four, five, only five things, only five taps. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, maybe a little skinnier too. Okay. Let's see. Now I'm going to copy and paste that. And this is where you just have to kind of play around with the size and what that looks like. So it looks like I'm going to have some extra space. So I'm going to go ahead and delete actually and make this one a little bit wider. Okay, so I have my tabs on the side. Now let's zoom in and double check that they are centered. Yeah, pretty set. I might even just make for time's sake, obviously, when you're doing this, you would have more time on your hands. You kind of could make it perfect, but I'm just going to make these two tabs a little shorter and that's okay. Okay. So the next thing is, is we need to decide what colors we would like them to be. So I am going to actually pull some colors from this area and I like to use a little extension called color pick eyedropper. So I am going to pick this red color. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come over into this area and paste it. Oh, got to erase all of that first. Press OK. All right, there we go. We got a red tab. Let's do pink next, which I already pulled from. Let's do this yellow right here. Copy that. Then I'm going to X out of it again, going over here, adding the plus button, taking that away, copy and paste. And then let's do this greenish color and let's do that purple color okay next up i want to do the lines a little bit thicker so i'm going to come over here i selected all of them by pressing down shift and clicking on each one and i want it to be black and i want it to be a little bit thicker let's go to three maybe two there we go okay so the next step is, is putting in the titles of like what you want it to be. So I'm actually going to highlight all of these again by pressing my shift button and clicking all of them. And I'm going to use this one here, Reem Kofi, <laughs> Kofi, I'm not sure. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to, let's keep 14 for now and see what that looks like. I'm going to press the middle, uh, like the center and here. Okay, we want it bold. All right, let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to click. And this will be, let's see. Oh, you know what? I want it to be pink first, then red because of kinder. I want kinder to be first, and they're the red color. So I'm going to write kinder, first grade, second grade, 
third, and finally block. Okay, next up, what I'd like to do is now I need to link them to where I want them to go. So for this, I actually have down here, I have it organized by August unit maps so far, September month at a glance unit maps, and then I also have it organized by grade level. So I just copy and pasted these maps up here, down here with that little title. So we have the kinder area, and as I build and make more, obviously there are going to be more unit maps here, but we're gonna add them in. So I want this tab right here, so I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to scroll through all of these documents. So what I'll do is I want this Kinder one to be linked down to this Kinder title page. So that is slide 14. So I'm going to click on this. Now we don't want to link the text because if we do and we link that text and we want it to go to what is it slide 14? What will happen is this will become like a URL, like where it's underlined in blue. And I just, it doesn't go with what I want. So if that works for you, great. And you don't mind that, but I actually want to link instead the actual shape. So I'm not going to highlight the words. I'm just going to click on the shape, then command K. Or if you want to do it where you go over here, it would be, actually I can't remember. Let's see if I can figure it out. Insert, yeah, insert link right here. Then all you have to do is write in slide and then whatever slide you want, which is 14 for us. Then we click right there and now it's linked. Okay, so then it's slide 14, boom. Let's go back up and link all of these now. So first grade, let's link it to slide 17. Second grade. So now that I have my tabs on the side right, let's now work on the ones on the top. So I want one for every single month in the school year. So August all the way to May. So I am going to go ahead and now make these same kind of tabs up here and I have to align them and make them all right. So let's do that where I want to get the same height as this one. So I'm actually going to copy and paste this one as a starting point to kind of help me with that. So I'm going to change it back. There we go, and we're gonna put it off to the side, and let's see, we need August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, so about 10 tabs. Actually, let's use our blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, perfect. See like how you kind of have to use, <laughs> use little clues, use little things that you can in order to make your life a little easier. <laughs> Maybe let's zoom in this time so we're really more accurate. So hopefully, as you see, it's all just trial and error. That looks a little bit better, actually. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I want to keep this color scheme going. So I'm just going to, on the top, going to fix that. So we're going to start with pink, and then we got red, and then I think yellow. Okay, next step is, is I am going to do that same thing that I did before to kind of format them all with the correct font. So again, I want that bold. Yep. Um, let's do 12 and see what that looks like. Same thing, one in center and one in the middle. Okay. And now I'm going to have to do where I'm not going to like to put the entire month. I'm just going to do the abbreviation. So I'm going to do this and I might do it all caps. Mm -hmm. well, we might be able to do 14. Mm, because we're abbreviating, we might even be able to do like, let's do 18. Try that again. Mm -hmm. And then we're not going to have June. Oh, you know what? <laughs> again, there we go. I made a mistake. I want to start with the actual school year, not the start of the year. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's looking right to me. Let's go back to fit. 
Okay, so the next step is we have to link them again. So we're gonna go over to August, and again, we don't wanna link the text, we wanna link the actual box. And let's link it to a slide two. Slide. And then September. Now later on as I add more, I'm probably gonna need to link, oops, um, link these ones to the, you know, the month, but I don't have it quite yet. And so I'm just gonna link these two for now. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're gonna go back to 50% here. And now what we'll need to do is copy and paste these tabs over to every single slide. So what I'm gonna do is going to, um, you know, press down and highlight all of those. And then I'm gonna press down the shift button and highlight all of these. And then all I have to do is just copy and paste them to each slide so that they're there and ready. Okay, so that is how you make the tab. So now I can kind of navigate through. Now I can't be in present mode. Uh, how I design the tabs, I always like to have them on the edges and when you press present, you can't see them. So you do have to be in, in edit mode for it to work. So just be mindful of that as you're going. But let's say I want to go. Now here's a common mistake that people make is when you link the shape, you can't click on the text. It'll just go like this. You have, to link, you have to press on the shape to actually get to where you want to be. Okay, so we go to August. Maybe I want to jump to first grade now, right? I want to jump to block. Maybe I want to go back to August. Maybe I want to jump to September. So it's really easy to navigate through and um, go to the different areas that you'd like to go to. So I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.